Hello, so let's find the square root of 6 plus 2 root 5. This right here is an irrational number and we want to find its square root. Now, there are several ways of doing this, but I'm going to use probably the simplest one I can. So I'm going to begin by letting the square root of 6 plus 2 root 5 to be equal to plus or minus, let's say, root x1 plus root x2. I'm assuming x1 and x2 are integers. So there we go. Now, from here, let's try to square both sides and see what we get. Let me change the color so that you can easily follow this up. So just following from here, if I square both sides, I'll have 6 plus 2 root 5 equals if I square here, I'll have only the positive, so that's going to be x1 plus x2 plus 2 times the square root of x1 and the square root of x2. And you can see that from here we can have, uh, we can relate the terms that are similar, for instance, this and this. And then we also have this and this right here, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have x1 plus x2 equals 6 and then we have x1 x2 equals 5 so let's solve these two equations simultaneously i'll just scroll up to get more space here okay let me also change the color so that you can still follow this up so from this first equation you can see that x1 is obviously 6 minus x2 let's plug that here so you have x1 Oh, oops, that should be x. Uh, I should be x2 into x1 is 6 minus x2 equals 5. What's that going to be? 6x2 minus x2 squared equals 5. Uh, so that's x2 squared. Okay, what next? Minus 6x2 plus 5 equals to 0. And you can actually factorize this and you'll have, I think, x2 minus 5 and x2 minus 1, which means, let me just get another color here, which means x2 is either positive 5 or x2 is positive 1. And from these values, we can find values of x1. So, okay, let me just probably do this down here uh, okay so for x2 equals 5 x1 from this equation here where is that oh i just have to go back up okay from here so x1 is 6 minus x2 so i'll have 6 minus 5 that's going to be positive 1 okay what else for x2 equals 1, then x1 equals, uh, what's that, 6 minus 1, which is 5. So let's go. We say the square root of, oops, okay, let me just use this again. So the square root of uh, 6 plus, uh, what was the question, 2 root 5, we say this is plus or minus the square root of x1 plus the square root of x2. Uh, so that's going to be plus or minus the square root of x1. So x1 is 1 plus uh, the square root of x2. So when x1 is 1, x2 is 5. So that's going to be plus or minus the square root of 1 plus, oops, the square root of 1 is actually 1. And then the square root of 5, that's irrational, so I leave it like that. Thanks for watching this video. If you find it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in my other videos. Bye.